dear art lovers welcome to my studio my name is vijay kiyavat in a few minutes i'd like to introduce you to my studio and my art after 41 years of corporate career after iit i took to painting and that to watercolor painting in 2008 i love watercolors because they bring a lot of natural elements onto the paper they are unpredictable they are quick and they require a lot of planning because if the sequence goes wrong then the whole watercolor painting can get spoiled and they require a lot of meditative process because you need to focus on what you are doing so because of these things it suited my corporate style of functioning and i took to watercolors and there is a myth which uh, makes you believe that watercolors don't last long but actually that is not true watercolors in the museums where j m w turners and winslow homers artworks have been displayed for last 200 years nothing has gone wrong they are as fresh as before so if the paper is good the paint is good if the storage is good nothing will go wrong with watercolors and they will last for generations for example let me explain what i use i use world's best watercolor paper it is made by arches of france this made was set up in 1492 All the famous artists over generations have used this paper. I use 300 GSM and 650 GSM. These are four paintings made on the same paper. Then I use the uh, world's best paints. This is uh, Winsor and Newton. This is American Journey. This is Camlin, which is made in India. Then Van Gogh, and then Holbein. These are. the finest pigments available in the world and i always use tubes because they bring freshness into the painting i use the finest brushes available that is winsor and newton then i use uh, da vinci i use a skoda and utrecht which gives me very good results i also use very good mediums for watercolor permanent masking fluid of dela rauni the uh for the permanent masking fluid of Vincent Newton art masking fluid of Dela Rauni granulation medium of Vincent Newton and a special soap for cleaning the brushes i read lot of literature because that makes my foundation strong and bring some kind of a theme behind every painting for example i read pitu samhar of kalidas which was written 1500 years ago to make my series with some hard on seasons which became very popular i use this board for mounting my sheet which is a very light board it's called gator board i use wet and wet technique because that brings lot of uncertainty and unpredictability lots of surprises which i really love and my uh, method of mixing the paint is to mix it on the paper rather than on the palette because that brings more freshness and more tonality into the painting my style is symbolic it is fantastical it is surrealistic and i bring a lot of nature into my paintings because that is what i am made of i study lots of books i attend lots of courses i undertake a lot of trainings see lots of videos to strengthen and to hasten up my learning the framing that i do for watercolors as a special transparent acrylic sheet not glass which is breakable so with this sheet you make the frame very light and handleable it doesn't break and the wood that i use is a real wood and it is specially finished with proper color to give you a very aesthetic feeling and the frames are weighted downwards to give you a realistic and a good the impression of the painting I have had seven solo shows one in Singapore one in Bombay and the rest in Delhi and several group shows in London Chicago Bangalore Hyderabad etc Many of my collectors come from corporate sector and they are industrialists they are tourists from Switzerland Japan and Germany Some of my favorite paintings I will show you very soon and I am very grateful to Indian art collectors for hosting my paintings on their website and I hope that someday my paintings will find a wall in your home thank you very much this is one of my favorite paintings made based on themes from spain gaudi's architecture and alhambra palace garden this is another favorite painting of mine 
based on the palace and its pithy flower